Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge, and welcome to Storyteller, or more accurately the demo of Storyteller, which is, perhaps unsurprisingly, a game all about making stories. We have ourselves some characters, we have some locations, and we simply drag and drop things around the place to tell a story, and the story changes depending on what we've done, so what characters we've put in what location and in what order. And that in itself would be enough, I think that sounds great, but Storyteller goes a bit further because it's gorgeous to look at, I assume it's mostly hand drawn, it's so very pretty indeed and there are little animations for all the scenes or the characters kind of interact with each other and it's just wonderful. I am very very much looking forward to having a go at this. Now this is indeed the demo version of the game and it's available on Steam right now as I record this and of course if you are interested then there is a link to the Steam store page in the video description below so you can go and wishlist the game and grab the demo if you want to give it a go yourself but I think we should just jump straight in and start telling some stories. Okay, here we go. So chapter one is called Love and Loss, and as you can see, it's split into four different sections. So these are four different stories that we have to tell successfully to then complete chapter one, and then I assume move on to chapter two. So the stories are First Love, Broken Heart, Healing Heart, and Drama. Okay, it all sounds very exciting indeed. I mean, let's start at the beginning, sure, because, you know, typically that's how books work. So let's go and complete the first love story. So Lonely Person Finds Love, build a story that fits the title. Okie doke. So we have two kind of two panels, I suppose, two parts of the story. Drag the characters into the comic. Okay, so we have Albert and we have Juliet. Okay, right. I'm kind of feeling that the game wants us to drag Albert over here because Albert's face is outlined there. So, okay, game. We'll follow it through this time. There we go. Oh, and look at that. Look at that. Albert is sad. So Albert is the lonely person. Albert is the lonely person. And look, his heart is empty. I mean, I imagine what we're going to do is we drag Albert there and then I guess we drag Juliet in there. I mean, that looks like a sort of a church background. So I assume, I assume they're going to get married. So we drag Juliet in. So there we go. And oh, look at that. Look at that. They've fallen in love. A little heart has appeared. It's all wonderful. And there we go. That is kind of it. We've completed one story already. We get a wonderful crown type thing for it. And I think that's kind of it. That's how the game goes on in terms of the characters. I think you can drag backgrounds around the place and stuff as well. Um, okay, let's go to the next then. So Broken Heart. Story of Heartbreak. Yeah, there we go. There we go. This is where we get the different backgrounds. So we've got Albert and Juliet again. And then we have Propose. Oh, and then we have Grave. Oh, this is awful. Okay, so if we put Propose in and then we drag Grave in. Oh, this is terrible. Okay, right. So Albert and Juliet. Hooray, look, they're in love and it's all wonderful and they're happy. And now I'm afraid, Albert and Juliet, we need to break your hearts. I do apologize. I mean, who? Hang on. Do we put someone? Oh no! <laughs> who do we? Who do we make? Who do we make dead? Albert, I'm very sorry, but uh, but uh, yes, you have you have unfortunately passed away, and Juliet is heartbroken. And there we go. Okay, so that's kind of your, introduced us to the concept of the backgrounds or the scenes or the locations or whatever they are. Okay, so broken heart is done. Healing heart. Okay, so propose grave. We have three different backgrounds. However, a heartbreak is healed, and we have Edgar, Eleonora. And Le Legia? Legia? How have you pronounced that? We'll call her Legia, I think. Um, okay, so hang on a minute. Ah, right, I see what we're going to do. So we have Propose, then we have Grave, and then we have Propose again, maybe? So Edgar... Right, hang on. So Edgar marries... Oh, we're going to have to kill one of you two. I do apologise. Um, okay, do you know what? You're first in line, so you might have to die. I do apologise. So there we go. So Edgar and Eleonora are in love. It's all lovely. And then Edgar then loses Eleonora. Oh, look, his heart is broken. So there's the heartbreak. But then Edgar meets... Oh, look at that. Look, he's responded. He's responded to the existing state that he's in from over here. So at the moment, in this particular scene, he is still heartbroken. But I imagine if we add her in, then there we go. He's fallen in love again. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, this is... Th that's, that's very good. I like that. Um... Okay, but then, yeah, what if we take, like, can we just take people out? Um, oh, look, so look, if we take her out, so there you go. So he's in love with Eleonora. He's then just stood in a graveyard, bit weird. And then over here in the sort of church scene, she's then having a broken heart. And he's saying, oh, hang on, I love her. Because in this story, Eleonora is still alive. Oh, this is very good. Hang on, what if we put her into there? <gasps> she becomes a ghost. This is brilliant. Okay, he's going, who is this person? because he doesn't know who she is. And then he's gone over here, and she's a ghost. Oh, this is this is very good. Oh, I like this. This is amazing. What if we put her there as well? 
Okay, so that's just total heartbreak all around. So yeah, he falls in love, then she dies, and then she's a ghost. What if we do that? What if we just put her in? Because she doesn't know who she is. What if we put her there? And then put him there? Uh, right, his heart is broken because she's dead. This is, this is amazing. Right, hang on a minute, hang on. We haven't got the thing anymore. We haven't got the shiny crown, I don't think. Because I think we've been messing around with it. Does the game like that we've done that? And it does. No, it's fine. It's fine. But we've messed around with the story. Oh, this is very good. Okay, drama. Everyone heart breaks. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay, so. Propose. So, okay. Edgar and Eleonora. Hooray! You're married. It's all very lovely. Everyone's happy. Then we have a grave. Um. Okay, so hang on then. So let's... Oh, does it have to be Edgar again? Right, so then she, she dies. Okay, so he's heartbroken. So he's heartbroken. Then what if there's a grave with him in it? Hang on, that doesn't work though, does it? Because then no one there to there's no one there to be sad for him. Hang on. Um how do we how do we how do we make that go away? Ah, right click, okay. Um and then okay, so what if we then ah yeah, right click to erase. I should have seen that. Then what if we revive hang on, what if we revive her? So she then comes back. Magic spiritual powers happen. She comes back. And then if we propose... Hang on. What about those two? Can they, can they fall in love? That would be amazing. Oh, no, because she loves him. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Right. Move... No, no, no. no. I want you to move the whole scene over. Move that over. Then what if we have Edgar being dead? So then she is heartbroken. Okay. So Edgar is heartbroken. She comes back to life. Then she is heartbroken because Edgar is dead. And then, hang on a second. And then she is dead. Everybody is heartbroken. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, I've done it the wrong way around. Hang on a second. No, she's not. No, 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 no. Swap that round. Swap that round. There we go. That's what I meant to do. So Edgar and Eleonora fall in love. Oh, no. Then Eleonora has died. Edgar is heartbroken. He goes away all very sad. Magic powers happen. Eleonora comes back to life, which is all very exciting. But then at that point... Edgar has died, so she is then heartbroken. She then falls in love with Ligeia, and then, and then, unfortunately, she dies again, <laughs> which is which is a tad careless. But there we go, and then that means Ligeia is heartbroken, which means everybody heartbreaks, everybody hurts sometimes. Oh, this is splendid! This is splendid. Okay, so that's chapter one done. So I assume, can we move on to chapter two? Uh, can we look at the other chapter? Oh, we can. Okay, so chapter two is gothic tragedies. Poison, tragic lovers, murder, and deadly drink. Okay, right, we've, we've kind of gone away from sort of, you know, beautiful but tragic romance into horrendous kind of, you know, poison, murder, and such like. Um, chapter three is monsters, Genesis, Dracula, and Crown Suitor, and... Oh, okay, right, that's all we get with the demo. Do you know what? That's absolutely fine. Okay, so chapter two, poison. What is going on here? Okay, so drinks poison out of heartbreak. Okay, so uh, hang on. We're going to have to have propose between Edgar and, I don't know, Leger this time. There we go. So they're in love. Hooray. So they are now there. They're all happy. Then we need to have poison. So then she, hang on, maybe he can have some poison. Um, oh no, can you go over there? Um, hang on. How do we make you drink the poison? poison. Do we need to put somebody else in? She just looks a little bit befuddled. Uh, oh, hang on. What if we move that over? What if we put another proposed scene in where Edgar is with her? Okay. Ah, right. There we go. Right. Okay. I see. So, okay. Edgar and Ligeia are in love. It's all lovely. Then Eleonora turns up to marry Edgar, but Edgar is unfortunately in love with Ligeia there. So Eleonora then drinks some poison. Oh, no, you don't need to do that, Eleonora. Come round, I'll make a cup of tea. I'll make a cup of tea. Do you know what? No, I won't make a cup of tea. I'll make a pot of tea. Make a pot of tea. We can have some cake. We can sit down. We can have a chat about things. Um, okay, I mean, there we go. This is all very tragic, but there we go. So that's happened. Do you know what? Can we go back in? Yes. Okay. Like, what happens if we just keep swapping things around? Okay, he's just a bit puzzled. Then that's... Yeah, then she's heartbroken again. Oh, okay, right. I see. So you can swap it around a bit. Okay, that's fine. Right. Tragic lovers. Okay. Oh, it's a it's a huge one. It's a sixth parter. Double self poisoning. Okay. We have propose, grave, poison, and revive. Okay. <laughs> um Right, okay. I'm getting a feeling. Is this a little bit sort of Romeo and Juliet test? Right, let's start you off with 
a bit of a bit of marriage. Yay! Look, romance has happened. Wonderful stuff. Edgar and Eleonora together forever, and all that kind of stuff. And then, do we need to have a grave? So let's let's have Edgar. Generally, the Eleonora's died. Yeah, the ladies have died. So let's let's kill off Edgar this time round. So she is then sad. So then, she is then going to have some poison. So there we go. So she is then going to be dead. And then, what if we then revive? Uh, hang on, this we haven't got enough things. What if we revive Edgar? So Edgar comes back to life. Hooray! Edgar is alive. And then we revive. Oh no, hang on, we can't. How's this going to work? Because now she's dead. So hang on. So then he's going to go to. Ah, yeah, there we go. So she's dead. He's going to go to the grave and go. Oh no, I'm sad. And then he can then have some poison. Oh, it's beautiful. I like this. It's like a sort of, it's a puzzle game, but with all sorts of wonderfully beautiful hand-drawn things and it all animates. Look, there's it raining there and look, it looks very good. I like this. Okay, so there we go. Now, yeah, I don't think we could do that any other way. I don't think we could do that any other way. Okay, that's fine. Double self-poisoning is done. And now time for some murder. Uh, Baron murders Edgar. Ooh, we've got a new person. Baron. Okay. Um, right, so propose, grave, that's all we've got, and then Edgar, Eleanor, and Baron. Okay, so what if we say, okay, you two are in love, hooray, that's nice. Then there's a grave, so he's killed Edgar. He doesn't know who Edgar is. <laughs> and then, and then, oh, hang on, what if we put him in there? Uh, oh, okay, that's fine, so we can do that. So they're, they're in love, but then how is this going to, why would he kill him? How do we do the whole killing thing? Now he's heartbroken. Um, I don't know if that necessarily means he's murdered him, however. Okay, and then can you two get back together? I mean, it's a lovely tale, but it doesn't kind of fit this, does it? It does not fit that at all. Um, okay, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I think we know, I know what we need to do. So that in there. So you go over there. Right, so you marry Eleonora, yay. And you can't marry baron there you go so baron is now angry look urgh, angry face he's very cross and then a grave so edgar is dead and baron oh <gasps> my goodness me murder most horrid okay yeah that was good what if we put her in so what happens there okay so he just kills her so that doesn't meet the goal but we've completed the goal okay yeah so yeah there we go so if it meets the story title we get a shiny golden thing but we can just sort of mess around a bit if we want to what if we do that He's going, huh? I don't know. <laughs> what if we do that? So that's heartbreak. Swap it round. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay, so right, he's he's killed poor Edgar to death. Okay, right. And deadly drink. We've already had quite a lot of deadly drink. We've had poison. Okay, Baron murders Edgar. Again, poor Edgar. <laughs> Baron, we don't like you. You're evil. Propose drink poison. Edgar, Eleonora and Baron. Okay, so we've got drink and poison. Okay, what, what happens with drink? Is it one person? Yes, okay, so one person can have a drink and then poison is one as well, isn't it? Okay, so Baron murders it. Okay, but hang on, so propose. So those two are probably gonna get married. Yeah, so there we go. Edgar and Eleonora. Oh, it's a, it's a tale as old as time itself. It's wonderful. And then how about Baron comes in and says... Edgar, I'm outraged. I, I thought I thought we had a thing. I thought we had a thing, Edgar. And then he's going to go, no, because I love Eleonora. Away with you, even though your beard is very impressive. And then, how are we going to pad this out for four more things? Okay. Um, and then, hang on. What if, hang on, move that. Move that to there. Maybe then we just put drink in. So Edgar likes a drink. So they get married. Edgar's having a lovely drink. That's all fine. Then Baron comes in and says, Oi, Edgar, I, I love you. And Edgar goes, No, my heart belongs to another. And Baron goes, Grr, I'm very cross. Um, and then, hang on. Then if he's going to poison, is he going to poison? Right, so he's poisoned a bottle with the idea of killing her. Okay. And then drink and her. So she's dead. What about then drink and then him? <gasps> Oh my goodness me, Baron has killed everybody, my word. Okay, <laughs> so Baron has killed them both in a fit of rage and jealousy. 
Okay, I wonder if there's anything else you can do with that. Can we can we switch this round? What if we put him there? Right, so we put him there. So they're they're you know they're a thing. They're in love, which is wonderful. He's then having a nice drink. They're then in love again. Hang on. So what if we go like that? So he's then saying, uh, oh no, why would he? He kills her. Ah, of course. So he's murdered Edgar, but unintentionally there. He's murdered the love of his life because he's poisoned the he's poisoned the drink to kill Eleonora because Eleonora's making advances upon Edgar and Baron isn't happy about that. So he's killed her, but then Edgar is drunk from the same bottle. <gasps> oh my goodness me, it, that, that makes a completely different story. That's a completely different story. That's a tale of tragedy. That's a tragic tale. And a bit and a bit murdery as well, because you know Eleonora got killed a bit to death. What if we swap them round? What happens there? Um, stories can use fewer friends. Ah, you don't have to fill them up. You don't have to fill them up if you don't want to. Okay, that's good. Hang on, what if we put Edgar back in there? <gasps> he comes back as a ghost. Okay, that's very exciting. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, right. Edgar is still dead. Maybe we can leave Eleanor alive on this one. So Edgar is dead, and then he comes back as a ghost and sort of, you know, just goes woo around the place. Okay, right. That's very good. I think that's chapter two done. So let us head with haste to chapter three, Monsters. Genesis, Dracula, and Crown Suitor. Okay, let us begin Genesis. Adam and Eve die. Okay, we have some different people. We've got Adam and Eve. Hello, Adam. Hello, Eve. Um, I assume your fig leaves are in suitably you know, good positions, or am I going to have to break out the decency mugs? I don't know. Okay, so garden... Okay, so it would make sense if you both went in the garden. Yay for fig leaves, sort of. Okay, right, so cartoony fig leaves going on. I think, I don't think the decency mugs need to be deployed there. Come on now, everyone's fine with this. It's cartoony stuff. Okay, so they're in love. It's all fine. And then temptation must happen. So, I mean, this is, what if we put Adam in? So, okay, he eats a bit of that. And then there's judgment. Okay, so... Does he get judged? Right, so Adam has been struck by lightning and Adam is quite dead. Um, and then what if we tempt? What if we put Adam back in? So Adam, <laughs> he's, just, he's just a pile of ash. Okay, put the tree back in for Eve. There's nothing there for Eve to do. Okay, so what if we put Eve in as judgment? He just looks a little bit, the thing just looks a little bit cross. Okay, okay, so we haven't done this in exactly the right order. Um... Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. Right, hang on. Get rid of those backgrounds. Because the tree, I think the tree has been zapped with the lightning. So we need to move that down to here. We need to have... Uh, what happens just out of interest? Hang on. Move that over there. What if we put the garden in with those two again? They're just facing in different ways, but they're still in love with each other. Okay, that's fine. Right, so in this one, Adam has a bite of an apple and the snake goes, ha, 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 aren't I clever? And then in this... Eve can come along and they can share a bit because he's obviously by the tree anyway, which is fine. Then what happens then if we put the garden back in? Do they come along with an apple? No, they're still just in love. You know, we'll use every frame. It seems right to do so. And then we'll judge Adam and then we'll judge Eve. And there we go. So we could have done that with one fewer frame, I suppose. I like that. That is very good. And um, what if we just put, yeah, so if we put Adam back in there, <laughs> like just a pile of dust. Okay. Right, so we've done we've done Genesis. So we've covered Genesis. Um, now we take a slightly bizarre step toward Dracula. Okay, uh, cured from vampirism. Ooh, cured. Okay, Dracula, Mina, and Jonathan, the characters. We've got Knight, Crypt, and Professor. Okay, let's just drag them on. So what do we have? So Dracula. So Knight has got two. Crypt has got two. Professor only has one. I'm going to assume that the professor will treat Jonathan at the end. Well, the professor's saying that he needs to stab Dracula through the heart with a stake. Okay, hang on then. So, Crypt. So, do we put Dracula in and Jonathan like that? Right, so he's killed He's killed Dracula. Okay, what does Mina do in that situation? She just looks a bit scared. This is amazing. Right, okay, so Dracula, bit bit dead. Deader than normal. But then how do we do the... Re hang on. He needs to get bitten first, doesn't he? What happens if we just put them in? So there, there's Drac, and there's her. So she is now a vampire, I assume. So she, oh, she's, ah, she is now in a thing as well. So they're both in, they're both in coffins. Okay. Um. So how do we, 
How exactly do we do this? So if we drag that up there, so Dracula bites Mina and she becomes vampire. Then they both just, you know, hang out doing vampire things. Jonathan goes to the professor guy and goes, hang on a minute, how do we deal with this? This is terrible. He says, stab Dracula, please. So then stabby stab happens. And then do we bring Mina back? And there we go. He's cured her. Ah, because Dracula is dead. If we put her into there, <gasps> then yes, look. It doesn't, the story doesn't finish properly because she's not cured because Dracula is still alive and he tries to sort of fend her off with a bulb of garlic. Oh, that's very good. Okay, but hang on. Can we use up all the things? I feel like we need to use up all the things. Let's go to night, shall we? What if we do Dracula and Jonathan? What happens there? Right, Jonathan gets bitten. So if we put Jonathan there, they're just going to hang out. If we put Jonathan there, he's just going to get bulb of garlic Okay, this is wonderful. This is amazing. Right, okay, so there we go. So we kill. We ki Oh, look. He's dead. Dracula's dead there as well. We'll bring Mina out. Um, ah, she's been cured because Dracula is dead. There we go. And then he just goes back and says, Yay, we did it, Professor. Oh, there's different ways to do it. Okay, there we go. So, um, yeah, we've cured her. Can we swap it around so she cures him? Can we do that? Okay. So he gets bitten. He then, yeah, that doesn't work right now. So then he's in a coffin there. So Mina goes to Professor and says, how do I do this? Um, they're just hanging out in Coffin Town. Uh, hang on a minute. So Mina could then go over there. Mina stabs him. He's then better. And then he goes back to the Professor. Oh, this this is wonderful. It, it all just sort of works. It's amazing. Right? And I think we're on Crown Suitor. This is the last one. The Queen marries. So Propose, Dungeon, Disguise, then Queen, and then Baron. Oh, Baron's back. He looks still looks very angry. He looks very angry. And Queen, the crown is nice. It could it could be bigger. It's got some good pointy bits on there. Very good. Okay, so Propose, we've seen. Dungeon. Dungeon has slots for two people. And Disguise is one person. Okay. Hang on a minute. Hang on. What, what, what do we do here? The Queen marries. Okay, the Queen and Baron. Okay, so the Queen... Ah! The Queen says no. The Queen has refused Baron's advances. She might have heard that he's a little bit kind of murdery. Okay, so she says no. So then, does he get put in the dungeon? Do we need to put him in the dungeon for a bit? So he gets locked away in the dungeon for a short while. Um, Then, hang on, if we clear that, how can he get out of the dungeon? Can he, can he get out? No, because he's still there. Of course, he's still in the dungeon. So does the queen let him down? No. No, it doesn't. Unless we put the queen... Hang on. Hang on. Take him... Uh, how do we do this? Right, do that. Put. Can we put the queen in there? No. And we can't take him out because he's still in... In the narrative of the story, he's still trapped in this cage thing. Um. Okay, what does disguise do? How does this work? Right, we can't put Baron in because Baron is trapped in that box still. Uh, okay, what if we put the Queen in? The Queen's going, I don't know what to do with this. Okay, okay, right, hang on. I suspect we might have done this in the wrong order. Okay, so how about Baron puts on a disguise? Okay, and then what do we do there? So the Queen and Baron, she goes, ah, there's a scary monster. Okay. And then, then what? <laughs> How does that help at all? Then can he come out of the disguise and then pr propose? She's just going to say no again, isn't she? She's just going to say no. Does he need to somehow scare away the, the thing? Does he need to scare that away? Does he need to put that in the dungeon somehow? Okay, so the queen traps the dragon as far as she sees it. And then, hang on, but he's not there. He's still stuck. <laughs> How can he come down? Oh, look at that, he looks a bit glum. He's sat down because he's all sad. Um, I don't know. I don't know how he can get down. Right click to erase. Okay, do you know what? This one is slightly trickier. Because I think, I think the idea is he's supposed to kill this, is he? I think the idea is he's supposed to go and save the queen from this dragony thing and then she falls in love with him because he's a big bold hero with an amazing beard but i can't figure out how this happens and there's a dungeon that i feel like we should use uh okay come out of the dungeon what if we then go to propose and they are there so she goes ah oh no we've done that 
we've already got that one. Um, okay, hang on. Disguise. Can the Queen do anything? No. Can he do anything? He can take off the disguise again. Uh, <laughs> right. Not entirely sure how to deal with this one. Put the Queen in there. So the Queen is all a bit scared. And then propose? Uh, I know, because she's still trapped in a prison. Uh, ah, right, hang on. Hang on. Does the dragony thing have to put her in the prison? And then he comes on and lets her out. Yes, that's going to be what it is. Right, hang on a second. Hang on a minute. Hang on. So, disguise first. Baron puts on disguise. Baron becomes dragony thing. Then he could... I suppose we could do that, couldn't we? We could say, oh, look, scary dragony thing. And then the queen gets put into prison by the dragony thing. And then the dragony thing. Baron takes his outfit off. And then... The Queen is still stuck. Baron then saves her. Hooray! Look, there's a love heart and everything. And then they get married. Oh, it's brilliant. Oh, there's like trumpety toot horn things. That was very good. That was really good. <laughs> okay, I like that one. And that completes the Queen marries, which is all very good. And I think, I think, oh, oh, hang on. That's jumping up and down at us. What do we, what do we do with that? Don't know what we do with that. That seems to be moving when we do. Oh, hang on. Do we put that onto there? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that did, but we've we've got ourselves a new hat, which is good. I like that hat. It's a good hat. It's got bells on. I think. I think that. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Have we got extra? <gasps> we've got additional thingamajigs. Okay, what's this then? A heartbreak is healed. Two heartbreaks. Oh, so there's additional kind of story things. Um. Okay, right, hang on. We're going to get back into the story of Edgar again. Edgar and Eleanor and that Ligeia lady. So, okay, Edgar and Ligeia fall in love. Good. Then she doesn't know who that is. Yeah, we messed around with this one, didn't we? Hang on. So then that's sad. Um, How can we get two heartbreaks? How can we do that? Because they're not going to know each other, are they? And then if we have Grave, and then we have... Uh, hang on a minute, and then he's dead, and she, but she's not going to know who he is. She's going to go, well, I don't know who that is. <laughs> What's going on there? Unless we do that, but then, hang on, what if we do that with those two? They don't know, right, he doesn't know who anyone is, so you fade away. One heartbreak, but she doesn't know who that is. Oh no, hang on, ghosts, we can have ghosts. Hang on, put her in. There we go, look, because she's, while well, she's a ghost, she's still sad about things. So yes, they were in love, then... The, she, the whatever she's called, Ligere died. And then at some point after that, Eleonora died and the ghost of Ligere has come back and gone, oh, boo, I am very sad. <gasps> okay, right, there's additional thingamajigs. We have a little hat. Okay, right, on we go. Afterlife love. Okay, right, we sort of know what we're doing with this. We've messed around with this before. So Edgar and Eleonora are in love. Then uh, Eleonora dies. Then she gets revived. Then Edgar's dead. So then... Edgar should come back in to replace her because she's a ghost. Uh, no, he's a ghost. She's then going, oh my goodness me, that's a bit scary. Um, hang on. Why are they, why are they scared? Oh, they're, ah, the, the two people need to be dead. Maybe two people need to be dead because now it's a completely different story. We don't need to revive her, I wouldn't say. Yes, there we go. So yeah, so then yeah, she dies. So she looks at Edgar who's dead and then they get married. Afterwards, or get whatever the equivalent is. Ghost married, ghost wed. Uh, hang on. I'm going to have to just do that, just to make it in order. Yeah, because we don't have to use all the frames. I keep thinking we have to use them all. But of course we don't. It's just, you know, we can have a maximum of six things. Okay, wonderful. Right, so let's go back up to here. And let's see what's next. We've done that one. So we've got tragic lovers. Okay. Double self-poisoning of the same person. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. So she then... Right, hang on. So, Edgar, Eleonora are in love. It's brilliant. Then Edgar dies. So she drinks some poison. So then we want her to come back to life, which is good. And then he's still dead, I assume. He's still dead. So then she drinks some more poison again. There we go. <laughs> oh, this is a tragic tale. This is... Oh, that's the saddest thing. Poor Edgar and Eleonora. They don't get it easy in this, do they? Right, deadly drink. Baron steals spouse. Okay, right, so as we have it at the minute, 
it's Edgar and Baron together. So we need to change that round. Okay, so those two are in love. That's all very good. Edgar has a drink because that filled a frame up. Then, okay, they're still in love. That's a bit... That might be superfluous to requirements, mightn't it now? Um, hang on, how's he going to steal the spouse? He's going to have to do a proposal afterwards. Okay, hang on. So move that over. So do we then need to have poison? So he's going to go... Huh? I don't know. Ah, right, hang on. No, 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 no. Come down there. Go over to there. We then need to propose between Eleanor and Baron. So Baron says, hey, Eleanor, come and marry me. She says, no, I'm in love with Edgar. He's got lovely blue hair and I like that. He then says, I'm not having that. Blue hair's rubbish. You should like my hair. He poisons a drink. Edgar dies. And then Edgar's just a floaty ghost. And then we should get Eleanor and Baron. Okay, there we go. So something happened. Baron impressed, impressed her with his wonderful beard. And now they're in love. And Edgar's floating about looking a bit annoyed at things. Okay, right. That makes sense. That's another Jester hat thing. And then we've got these three. So Genesis, Dracula and Crown Suitor all have that. So here we have sort of optional extra type things. Okay, let's go to Genesis. Indigestion. What? Okay. <laughs> what do you mean indigestion? Ah, do we just keep telling them to eat apples? Is that what we do? We just keep tempting them. We just keep doing it, do we? <laughs> just because they go. And again... Yeah, there we go. We just we just give her indigestion. <laughs> That's not very nice. I like that, though. I like that. She has one apple. And look, there's the apple core down. And now she's had too many apples. And yeah, she's not. What if we do it a third time? What if we do it then? Ah, the apple cores aren't there. But she's still unwell. What if we add them into that scene? We can't do that. Um. Okay, hang on. I feel like we need to get Eve judged at the end there. For having too many apples. That's gluttonous. Okay, there we go. So indigestion is done. She's eating too many apples. Uh, Dracula. Professor horrified at dead vampire. Okay. Hang on. We could just... Hang on. We can just put that right at the end, can't we? Um, oh, no. He's laughing. He's laughing at... Ah, no. Maybe. Ah, right. Okay. I see what we have to do here. So it's not Dracula he wants to see dead because he, he doesn't like Dracula. He's like, haha, yes, Dracula is dead. I like that. That's a good thing because Dracula's a terrible person. I think... He wants to see one of these two dead. He wants either Mina or Jonathan dead. Okay, so we need to make sure they both get turned into vampires. Okay, this is fine. Right, so night time. Then, uh, hang on, can we put Mina and Jonathan? Because she... Hang on, put her across that side. Because he's a vampire. Right, so he's turned her into a vampire. So Dracula gets Jonathan. Jonathan gets Mina. Mina then goes to the professor. Ah, but I don't think that's going to work, is it? We can't get the little tip thing of the professor saying, oh, you might want to stab Dracula through the heart or whatever. Um, okay. Oh, look at that. That's a bit scary looking right there, isn't it? Yeah, we need one of these to change, I think. I think we only need the one. Uh, okay. Do you know what? So Jonathan can get got. Mina then says, oh, my goodness me, Jonathan's been got. And the professor says, stab Dracula through the heart. So then we could go to Crypt and we could put Jonathan and Mina. So Mina stabs Jonathan. Then Mina stabs Dracula. That's fine. Then Mina looks sad at Jonathan. And then Jonathan could go in here. Because yes, that's not... That's not Dracula. So the professor is sad that Jonathan got turned into a vampire and then has been, you know, stabbed a bit and he's no longer a vampire anymore. Okay, yeah, there we go. That worked out very nicely indeed. And I think the last one. Dragon King. Okay. <laughs> Um, right. We're going to have to change him back into a dragon at some point. Um, how is that going to work? I think we take that out. Take that out. Hang on. So put that there. Put that there. Put that there. So he's going to turn into the dragon thing. Then he's going to lock the queen away. Then he's going to take it off. Go, I rescued you, queen. And then he's going to put that back on. Is that right? Oh no, then she's just going to look grumpy at him. She's just going to have a kind of grumpy face thing going on. Um, okay, hang on. Do we need to do this in reverse? Do we need to make... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, clear clear everything. Away, away with all these things. We need to have the queen being locked up by Baron. That's what we need. Right, dungeon. Queen there. 
barren there. So, oh no, I've been locked away by this terrible person. And then he goes away and puts on his disguise. Then we go to the dungeon and Baron, in his disguise, puts her back down. And then, <laughs> then there can be a proposal. Yes, there we go. <laughs> the dragon is now king and he's got a little crown on. Okay, there we go. And we've got two sort of frame spare as well, which is marvellous. I think that might well be it. We've done the tick and we get that crown, do we, or something? I don't know. Oh, hang on. There we go. That's the end of the demo. The full version is coming soon with more characters, settings and surprises. I mean, look at it. It's it's just beautiful. It really looks really nice. Oh, look, there's an executioner with a big axe thing. Oh, there's an undead kind of knight thing. There's a king. There's another king. There's some sort of weird robot knight thing. I don't know what that is. There's a frog, possibly a witch, some bloke, somebody else with amazing hair, a monk. Yeah, OK, right. It, it looks wonderful. Look at it. Look at this. It looks really nice. Oh, there's a kind of monstery thing. Um, so yes, that was very good. There's a squiddy thing. Um, and there's a monster lady. Um, yeah, that was really good. I really, really enjoyed that. I thought that was very different. And it just looks amazing. It looks so good. And it works really well. The whole sort of process of changing things around. Like, you know, we ended up seeing people as ghosts, which we didn't kind of mean to do initially. But, you know, they've put that in. They've thought about that. They thought, okay, you have a character who's died. What if you drag that character back in? Obviously, they come back as a ghost. That's wonderful. I do like that. Well, there we go. That is the end of the demo. I think we will be seeing that at some point in the future when it comes back. I think we will see that when it's a little bit more complete, when we can do more stuff. Because, yeah, that's really very good indeed. And I'd like to see some more characters. I want to see the different chapters and the different themes and all that kind of stuff. So I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that this will return to the channel when it goes into early access or full release version or whatever. When it's a little bit more complete and there's more for us to do, we shall absolutely come back to this. But yes, we're at the end of the demo, so we do need to finish up for now because, of course, there is nothing more for us to be getting on with. Hopefully you did enjoy this. I've had a thoroughly lovely time with this. So hopefully you have too. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard, as well as keeping up to date with Storyteller when it comes back at some point in the future. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. They've ripped my arms off, ripped my legs off. I mean, you know, unfortunately they didn't rip anything else off. Yes, I'm off my face on mushrooms. Why, Lady Charlotte? I, uh, I would certainly love to taste your cake. The King of the West is an idiot. I am off my face on mushrooms. I mean, asking me questions isn't going to be my strong point at the minute.